Ain't nobody in here with as much swagger as this guy. Look at those pants. <laughs> yeah. How y'all doing? Doing all right? Yeah. Well, I look like y'all doing well. Amen. Well, man, how you loving Portland so far? Portland is wonderful. Um, I'm a little upset because when I got here, it was warm. <laughs> so I put on shorts and I came out the hotel and it was cold. So I was like, was like that. So. It's the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Man, well, hey, uh, KB, what does KB stand for, man? KB is just my initial, my initials. Kingdom Builder. I, or like kangaroo business, but it's just my initial. Kevin Burgess, yeah. Kobe. Yeah. Yeah. You're married? I am happily, wonderfully married to a hot wife. Yeah. Sure. Of course. Just being honest. Uh, three years. Three years. No kids yet? Not yet. Soon. Okay. Soon. Practice them. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Anyways, man, uh, if you can invite any five people, dead or alive, to dinner, who are the five that you would choose? If I can invite any five people, dead or alive, to a dinner, all at the same time? All at the same time. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Let me see here. And they had to come. They had to come. No choice. I would invite, huh, <laughs> so I guess, I, I'm not just saying this something in the church, but I honestly would invite Jesus, he's alive, yes. and then, my heart goes out to a lot of uh, artists uh, who are in hip hop culture, who are really struggling with who God is, who they are, what they should be doing, and um, I would invite Jesus and then probably four other rappers that are probably struggling, <laughs> like Lil Wayne, McGross, yes. some of those guys. Not forget Tupac. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Tupac. Tupac. Cool, cool. What inspired you to present the gospel in the way that you're presented through Christian hip hop? Um, I be actually um, I became a Christian when I was 16 years old, um, and. The means by which I became a Christian was I met a guy in my school who said he was a Christian. He, I, I, I saw Eight Mile, the movie, and I was into battle rapping and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I challenged this dude. I heard he was a rapper. And uh, I asked him, hey, man, you want to battle? And he was like, no, I, I do Christian rap. And I just was struck that he was so definite and unashamed about that title. So later on, a couple weeks later, I saw him outside eating lunch. And there was a CD on the table, and the guy on the table had dreadlocks, bandana across his forehead and his face. And I was like, dude, I thought you was a Christian. How you listen to Lil Wayne? I knew y'all was all fake. And uh, he said, no, this isn't Lil Wayne. This is Christian hip hop. So he gave me the CD. The CD had eight songs on it. I loved every song. The eighth song had a gospel presentation. I believed that day, and I've been believing Whoa. ever since. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, as a Christian hip hop artist, what are some of the, like what's one of the challenges that you have is that? What's one of the challenges you have as a Christian hip hop artist? Oh man, well, so I guess there's the obvious challenge that uh, in a lot of people's mind when they take Christian and rap and put them together, you get crap, right? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So in a lot of folks' mind, I don't get to open my mouth before I'm shut down because of my, my title. So uh, what myself and some of my brothers like Cray and Tripp and Andy, uh, what we've gotten the opportunity to do is kind of redeem that phrase by making music that is so well done that it demands attention even if you disagree with the content. So yeah, That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. How many of you guys are thankful for Christian hip hop? Yeah. 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 Couple more quick questions for you. What is one piece of advice you give to people pursuing ministry? Um, just ministry in general. Just ministry in general. I would say, man, keep the main thing the main thing, man. That's good. Um, there are so many uh, messages out here that will here, excuse me, out here that will. Uh, okay. That, that we swim in from what we, we see online, from what we see on TV and the movie theater, and all of them, uh, though they may not, may not all be saying hate God or do, belittle Jesus, but 
they're not encouraging you to keep the main thing the main thing. So I would stay around brothers and sisters who, uh, and older folks, especially older folks, oh, praise God for older folks, that, that have walked the path, that have committed their lives to keeping the cross at the center, keeping Jesus as the greatest good, sin the greatest bad, and keeping that at the center of everything you do. If you stay right there, you won't go too far. All right, that's good. Last question. Now, we, we boxed a little bit earlier, you know, and uh, so I know you're a boxing fan. Um, Pacquiao or Mayweather, who would win? Are there any boxing fans in the house? Is it come? Pacquiao or well, Mayweather? Now, now let, me, let me qualify my, my answer, okay? Pacquiao's a believer, and I love that. He's an amazing fighter, and I so badly want him to fight Floyd Mayweather and win. Yes. But, <laughs> there's a problem. Floyd Mayweather is probably the most talented boxer alive. I don't know if Pacquiao can beat him. I'm sorry, guys. But you would want Pacquiao to win. I want Pacquiao to win. That's all that matters. Yeah, all that matters. I want him to win, yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, hey, can we give it up for Mr. KB? He's going to be here later. <laughs> <laughs> he made this